So let's take a look at another uh, application. This time we have a ball dropping from a tall building. So instead of a horizontal trajectory, we're looking at a vertical one. So when a ball is dropped from a 100 foot tall building, its position function is given by this when time is greater than or equal to zero. When will the ball hit the ground? Well, the ball will hit the ground when the position function equals zero, when the distance equals zero. So what time will the ball hit zero? So all we have to do is set this position function equals the zero. Negative 8x squared plus 100. So negative 8t squared plus 100. So solving for t, we get t equals positive negative square root of 100 over 8. But t must be greater than or equal to 0. So we have to take out the, the negative version. So it's just simply square root of 100 over 8, or 3.5 seconds. So to recap, position, velocity, and acceleration uh, of derivatives, it's only about the definition of the derivative. So we see that the derivative is about change of a function. So when we take a derivative of one position function, we get the change of uh, position, which is velocity. And when we take the derivative of velocity, uh, we get a change of velocity, which is acceleration. So by applying those definitions and our principles of derivatives, uh, we can really examine the position, velocity, and acceleration of any particle. Uh, thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson. equations and we took the derivative of these equations because it's telling us about the change in the variables in relation to time. Uh, so this is a very standard related race problem that you should also know. All right, so looking at uh, one last example of related rates, uh, this one is a little bit different from the others, uh, but following the same principles of related rates problems in applications of derivatives, we can solve this problem just the same um, by, by saturating the details and the context into our just math model. So uh, let's take a look at this problem. Light on the ground, 50 feet from a wall. So we're going to have a wall, and we're going to have the ground. So 50 feet from a wall shines on a 5-foot tall man walking to the wall at 2 feet per second. At what rate is his shadow decreasing when he is 10 feet from the wall? Okay, so light on the ground, 50 feet from a wall. So here's the light. 50 feet from the wall. So it shines on a five foot tall man. So here's, a, here's our five foot tall man. It shines his shadow onto the wall. Here's the wall is really, really, really tall, negligibly, negligibly tall. All right. So uh, let's put some variables in here so we can use it to solve uh, for derivatives. Well, we're asking for the rate uh, of his shadow decreasing. So here's his shadow. So let's call that y. And uh, we know that he's walking to the wall at two feet per second. Um, so let's, let's denote this distance x and this distance 50 minus x. So we see that there's two similar triangles. Well, how do all these variables relate? Well, if he's walking to the wall at two feet per second, we can call this x, we can call that dx dt. 
So then to relate all these variables together, we see that this is a giant similar triangle inside uh, an even bigger one. So 5 over y equals x over 50 minus x. Oh, excuse me, x over 50. So we have now an expression for x and y. Well, we know that y just equals uh, 250 over x. It's 250 times x to the negative 1. So the change in y dy dt is going to be negative uh, 250 x to the negative 2 dx dt. Well, let's go ahead and plug in dx dt because we know that the man is walking to the wall at 2 feet per second. So x is changing at a rate of 2 feet per second, which is dx dt. So this expression becomes negative 250 times x to the negative 2 times 2 which equals negative 500 over x squared. So now we have this expression for dy dt and x squared, and we're looking for uh, the rate at which his shadow is decreasing. So we're looking for a dy dt. This is what we're looking for. So all we need is to find x. So uh, where what is x? So to solve for x, when the shadow is decreasing, when he is 10 feet from the wall, uh, what rate is this shadow decreasing? Well, at 10 feet, here's your hint. This is your x. They're always going to give you uh, either what you need to solve the problem or enough information to help you solve for what you need. So here they're giving you 10 feet, which is x. So let's solve for dy dt equals negative 500 over 10 squared, which equals um, 500. Well, actually, x is not uh, what they're giving you. So here it's a little tricky. 10 feet from the wall, well, 50 minus x is 10 feet from the wall. So actually, 10 feet is 50 minus x. So we'll have to do a little bit of uh, arithmetic to get x. So 50 minus x equals 10. Then x equals 40. So then here we have negative 500 over 40 squared, which means negative 5 over 16 feet per second. So for this problem, we have to do a little bit of manipulation to get what we wanted. Uh, to review, we started with the relationship of the man's shadow casted on the wall. So we have a y term, we have an x term, and uh, we're looking for the change in change respect to time of those variables. And we're looking for the rate of his shadow, so that's dy dt. And we solve for all the other variables uh, based on the information given. Um, so once again, for related rates problem, we have to just be very, very organized and keep in mind of the giant uh, picture to get the answer that we are looking for. So thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next